Sam Snipe. I'm looking for a job as a reporter photographer, and I thought possibly you might have something to offer. Well, I am looking for a man, but Scoop Magazine hires only the best. He's got to be good enough to get the story I want on a female who has the reputation of being the most dangerous criminal in the world. Her business is robbery and cold-blooded murder. I want a story and exclusive pictures on her hangout and how she operates. Would you like to try at this assignment? Yes, sir, I sure would. But who is this dame? They call her Anne the Awful. Her gang is worse than the famous Ma Barker gang. She's a thief and a killer. She stops at nothing. Scoop must expose this vicious criminal. It may be a tough assignment, but if you can get the story we want, you're hired. It's up to you. Well, if that boy brings back a story on Anne the Awful, it'll surprise me. If he does, he's got a job for life. Gosh, how can I find it? Well, this is my big chance. I gotta find it. Is she a pistol pack and gun mole? A bubble dancer? Or, or, a, or a beautiful spy? Oh, just my luck. Don't even know where to look. Now, what does he think I am anyway? A detective? I'll have to keep my eyes open. And not miss a lead. Hey, what's this? She's dangerous. Get her before she gets you. And an awful, an awful ease mosquito spreads malaria. Hey, I wonder if that could be anything awful. Could a little mosquito be that dangerous? Yeah, sounds like a screwy idea. But I can't afford to pass up a lead. Good morning, sir. I'm Sam Snipe from Scoop Magazine. Scoop Magazine, huh? What can I do for you? Well, I'm out to get a story on the most dangerous female in the world. She's known as Anne the Awful, and she's a murderess. That's all I know about it, but I saw the poster of the Anopheles mosquito in your window, and I had an idea she might be the one I'm looking for. If you're looking for a dangerous female, you're on the right track. She's a robber and a killer. She murders millions of people each year. It's time people got wise to the Anopheles mosquito, and the health department will be glad to help you expose her. Golly, she must be quite a gal. Sounds like she's the one I'm after. Tell me more about her. You see... She carries malaria from the sick person to the well person. Then the well person gets sick and can't do a full day's work. Farms and factories don't produce and people lose money. The farmer who has malaria may want to work but can't. The malaria germs the Anopheles mosquito gives him destroy his blood and keep him weak and run down. Hey, this mosquito must be Anne the Awful. Uh, can you give me the dope on her? Yes, but... Uh, I prefer that Mr. Bradford, our expert on insects, give you the information. Mr. Bradford, uh, this is Sam Snipe, a reporter from Scoop Magazine. He wants a good story on the Anopheles mosquito. Will you give him some assistance? Uh, sure, Sam. I'll be glad to help you. Bring your camera and let's go. Well, why are they going into the country, Mr. Bradford? I thought most gangs operated in the city. Oh, but Ann and her gang are different. Sometimes they operate in the city. But most frequently, they commit their crimes in the country, within one mile of their birthplace. But let's start at the beginning. There are several different clans of Anopheles mosquitoes. In the United States, we are primarily interested in the Anopheles quadrimaculatus, called quad for short. They are so named because of the four dark spots on their wings. They are also known as the mosquitoes that stand on their heads. In this way, they differ from the common pest mosquitoes. Well, where do they come from, and, uh, and how did they get the start? Well, like chickens, they start out as eggs. Bad eggs. Gee, what a rotten start. Uh, can you show me some of those eggs? This is just the kind of place Anne likes to lay her eggs. No old rain barrels or tin cans for her. Other mosquitoes like these, but not Anne. She prefers a pond of quiet water with plants growing in it and lots of floatage to feed and protect her young as they develop. The mother mosquito lays her eggs on the water surface one at a time. Groups of these eggs may form patterns on top of the water. If we look at these eggs under a magnifying glass, we see the floats along the side that hold the eggs on the surface. After about two days, the eggs hatch and out of the tips pop little larvae, commonly known as wiggle tails. 
We'll dip for some of these larvae and take a good look at them. Looking at the malaria mosquito wiggler from above, we see the short breathing tube near the tail, the feathery hairs on its tail and along the sides of its body, and the brushes like a mustache on its face. When we look at the mosquito larvae from the side, we see that the malaria mosquito wiggler floats just underneath the water surface. Wiggle tails of common mosquitoes that don't carry malaria lie at an angle beneath the water surface and have a long breathing tube through which they take in air. When this little fellow gets hungry, it turns its head and uses its mustache to brush the food into its mouth. It feeds on tiny plants and animals until it gets too big for its britches. Then out it pops. It would cost a lot to keep this young and enclosed since it outgrows its tooth three times in about one week. Many wiggle tails are killed by fish and insects. Those that escape turn into tumblers, which scientists call pupae. Tumblers don't eat, but they get air through their breathing trumpet. They detect light through their eye spots and can swim away from their enemies by means of the paddles on their tails. After two days, the full-grown mosquito struggles out of the tumbler shell and leaves her home in the water. When Ann emerges, her legs are shaky and her wings are wet. So she stands around on the water until she dries and then flies away. Anne's childhood days are short. In about two weeks, she has grown from a tiny egg through the stage of being a larvae, then a pupae, to an adult mosquito, ready to begin her career of crime. Well, is it the only, uh, uh, only the female Anopheles that's considered dangerous? It takes both to raise a family, but only the female can transmit disease. Well, that's strange. Why? <laughs> The male doesn't bite. He prefers to suck the nectar from plants. But the female, she's bloodthirsty. Then it's the female you have to be on guard against. Uh huh. Well, well, how do you tell the difference? Well, the female has simple antenna or feelers, while the antenna of the male are quite pushy. But you don't have to worry about recognizing the male. He won't bother you. Uh-huh. And it's dangerous because she gives people malaria. But, but, but how does she do it? This is tied up with her family life, so let's go on with the story. Mating occurs within a few hours after the adult mosquitoes emerge. Males may be seen at dusk swarming around a bush, mound, or haystack until the females appear. Every year is leap year for them. Anne flies into the middle of the swarm and grabs herself a male, and away they fly together. Time passes, and Anne craves blood. Anne is developing eggs, and before they can mature, she must have a blood meal. She has her choice of cattle, horses, or people. People who are careless enough to let her get them. Her choice of time of her attack is during dusky hours or dark. Here's just what she's looking for. A house with a torn screen. It's an easy way for Anne to enter. A young girl is lying in bed sick with malaria. She's a bit pale, but she has blood. And Anne's too hungry to be choosy. She lights on the girl's arm at an angle and stands on her head as she places her beak ready to strike. Now her needle-shaped beak pierces the skin until she finds blood. She pumps saliva into the blood to keep it from clotting while she drinks. She draws up blood until her tummy is full. Along with the blood, she swallows a lot of malaria germs. But malaria germs don't bother Anne. She's off to her hideout. A cave, stable, or some cool dark corner of the house will do. For Anne is full and wants a place to rest and digest her blood meal. Here she is, full grown and stuffed with blood. After resting, Anne lays her eggs in just such a spot as this and goes out again in the evening in search of more blood. <laughs> This 
is when she does her dirty work. Remember where she got her blood before from the little girl who had malaria? Inside of Anne, the malaria germs she drank with the blood have not been digested, but have been growing and multiplying. By now, they have worked their way into her saliva. Farmer Jones and his family are resting after a hard day's work. They're all healthy now, but foolish to be sitting out in the evening, exposing themselves to the Anopheles mosquito. They won't stay healthy long with Anne around. She's got what it takes to make them sick. Anne bites. And when she does, she pumps the malaria germs, along with her saliva, right into careless Farmer Jones. In a few weeks, he will be sick with chills and fever, and won't be able to make that crop he's counting on. So Anne goes on, carrying malaria from the sick to the well. Gee, that Anne is some gal. I sure hate to run into her on a dark night. But wait till I write my story for Scoop Magazine. I'll expose her dirty tricks. I'll warn people about her. Boss, I got a great story. And wait till you see the pictures I took. I got that Ann the awful covered from every angle. I got her in her hideout, axe and shock of her doing dirty work. Okay, okay. And, and, Calm down and write it up. If it's good enough, we'll use it. Yeah, I just got to tell people about how she multiplies in pools and ponds and spreads malaria. This is a great story. When people read Scoop magazine and find out how the Anopheles mosquito carries malaria, steals energy and time, and murders millions of people, they'll take action against this vicious criminal. They'll stop this winged menace from spreading her shadow of poverty, sickness, and death over the world. Uh -huh.